What's the worst acting you've ever seen in a big budget film made by a huge studio? After Earth. Will Smith playing a character completely devoid of emotions for the sake of plot does not excuse the whole movie having cardboard acting. Jaden Smith in The Day the Earth Stood Still. John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. It's a total mess of a movie anyway but that bar scene where he's overacting so hard makes me cringe. Most cats from Cats. Is it still raining? I hadn't noticed. Said by an utterly wooden Andy McDowell at the end of four weddings and a funeral. I sometimes even skip it because it annoys me so much. Wesley Snipes in Blade 3 is a trip. Especially if you watch the trilogy in one sitting. I'll never get his awkward anger squad out of my head. Are we gonna pretend that Fifty Shades of Grey movies are non-existent? Loudly crying loudly crying cringefest grimace. The rock in Black Adam I'll admit the script was hot garbage and didn't help but still. Valyrian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Both Dane Dehan and Cara Delevingne were awful in it. Especially in scenes together. Zero chemistry. And lines delivered like amateur theater actors reading straight off a script. Do you know how bad you have to be to be noticed as a terrible actor in an Austin Powers movie? Well, thanks to Beyonce, we now know the answer. Oscar winner Marion Cotillard's death scene in Dark Knight Rises. I don't even blame her she's an unbelievable actress who completely nailed everything else she's ever done, including the rest of this movie. I blame Nolan for writing and then she slumps down dead in the script and filming that. Directors and editors can make or break even the best actor's performance on film. And they sure threw her under the bus on this one. I saw The Master of Disguise in theaters and still think that was probably the worst. Though maybe I'm just not turtly enough for the turtle club. Mark Wahlberg in The Happening. He was just awful. He can act though. He was incredible in Boogie Nights and The Departed. It's understandable that actors have to do a paycheck movie every now and then to pay the tax man or allow them to do a bunch of smaller movies. But Wahlberg seems to appear in a lot of turkeys. That said he gives it his all usually even in terrible movies but he properly phoned it in in the happening. Keanu Reeves in Dracula trying to do a British accent. Halle Berry in X-Men. She was just flat. I get Storm is supposed to be reserved. But she's supposed to be regal and powerful. Halle was just blah. It recently occurred to me she is actually a pretty flat actress in general. She also sounds like a Jackson. And once I realized that. I can't unhear it. Sofia Coppola in Godfather 3. She's a great director but ouch that acting was poor. Denise Richards as Dr. Christmas Jones in The World is not enough. I get why she was cast. But they went over the top in making her character a brilliant nuclear physicist. Anything with Steven Siegel. Cara Delvine in Suicide Squad. The whole thing was rubbish but lol why cast her as a lead villain. How incredibly foolish. Surely you had seen glimpses of that other crapfest she made. Paper towns? Some people are not double or triple threats and that's okay. The original Suicide Squad was unwatchable aside from Margot Robbie. Cameron Diaz in Gangs of New York. She took me out of the time period when she was on screen. Just terrible. Movies with insert athlete. Athletes tend to be absolutely terrible actors. The Happening. Just horrible acting from top to bottom. Has anyone else heard the story that some big-time producer made Steven Seagal into a movie star to prove how bullshit Hollywood was? He claimed to hold so much power that he could make his douchebag Aikido teacher who had zero emotional intelligence into a superstar. Guess it worked. Elizabeth Berkeley in Showgirls. 
She ramped her attitude to 10 and never went down. The pool scene is the funniest sex scene I've ever seen in my life. House of Gucci. My god, what were those accents? What's worse than Ezra Miller in The Flash? How about two Ezra Millers in The Flash? Throw a dart at any big budget release Gal Gadot has been in. I've no idea how she gets so many big parts. She's like the female Keanu minus the good will earned from doing all their own stunts. Cody Horn and Magic Mike. My god, it was painful. The Fifty Shades movies are atrocious. Jennifer Garner in Daredevil. Saw someone call out Keanu Reeves on his British accent in Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I'll raise you Kevin Costner's refusal to even try in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. I mean come on. Even Christian Slater made an effort. Everyone in Pearl Harbor. Jennifer Lopez. Gal Gadot in anything. Any Steven Seagal movie. All the Toolight movies. The remake of The Loin King. Sorry not sorry. Beyonce can't act. Please stay in your lane. The movie was great until the end. The tonality of her voice killed it for me. Natalie Portman. Star Wars. The Anakin. You're breaking my heart acting was so bad. My dogs howl when we watch it. Baffleck in Bounce. It's a fascinating exercise watching Paltrow's face and trying to work out what emotion he was. Supposed to have communicated in the line she's reacting to. Honorable mention to Ethan Hawke in Hamlet. Who maintains the same unvarying monotone until it comes time to deliver the line the proud man's. Contumely to the endless action section headings in a video rental store get it? He obviously thinks contumely is a stupid word. So he says it in a stupid way. Then gets back to the monotone. The happening, everyone forgot to act human. Not a movie, but hugely popular show The Blacklist. The actor who played Elizabeth had to be carried the whole season by every other actor. No offense, but she only got the job because of her looks. Or connection to the producer. Fans were so glad when she exited the show. Keanu Reeves in Dracula. It's not his fault. They should have never asked him to do it. Every person involved in Cats. Taylor Lautner in Twilight. Don't get me wrong he is a visually stunning man but to me his voice doesn't match his body. Madonna in Desperately Seeking Susan. Twilight. I watched the first movie to have a basis for ridiculing the franchise and was not disappointed. Team America has better acting than that whole franchise. Which is too bad because some actors are pretty good in other projects. You have not lived until you've heard Tom Cruise trying to use an Irish accent in Far and Away. Marion Cotillard dying in The Dark Knight Rises. Bo Derek. In Tarzan. The Ape Man. Just stunningly bad acting. Her scenes that exist in the movie makes me wonder what hit the cutting room floor. Russell Crowe in Les Mis. But not because of his acting. The Phantom Menace absolutely had the worst acting relative to budget and talent. Liam Neeson. Natalie Portman. Kira Knightley. And Ewan McGregor are all good actors. But they all read their lines in the most monotone voices. Natalie Portman was probably the worst of course. I'm not sure what they were supposed to do with the terrible script and poor directing from George. Lucas. Some of the acting in Star Wars is not exactly Oscar worthy. And that goes for the original films as well. Still like them but yeah. Let's not pretend the acting wasn't cheesy at times. Pick an actor, any actor, from the Jurassic World trilogy. They all stink. Paris Hilton in One Night in Paris. Not really convincing, an enthusiastic acting.